Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. I am currently at this adorable little spot, like two minutes from our house. Let me flip the camera around so I can show you. It's really sunny and very warm. <laughs> We are so blessed to live near such a cute spot and I was thinking about it today like I don't take advantage of coming here enough just like sitting by the water in the sun. I've got my Starbucks coffee. It's covered in dirt because I've been sitting here for a little bit. And I really didn't want to film today because um, I'm just not having a great mental health month, honestly. Um, if you can tell, I haven't really been on here. And I've just been like super overwhelmed with life and overstimulated by everything. And I feel like all I ever do is clean my house. Just like you get stuck in the mundane routine of life, you know? And I wasn't gonna film today and I wasn't going to share this, but I feel like we have to share the bad days. Like we have to, especially people on social media so that other people know like this is normal, this is real life. And some days after your coffee, you just need to pull over. I hope you can hear me because it's really windy. <laughs> but some days you just need to pull over and sit by the water and enjoy the little things in life, you know? The little things that I feel like we take for granted a lot. So I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> and I'm gonna sit by the water a little bit longer and I'm gonna film the day in the life today because I think it will boost my mood a little bit. I need to clean my house, shocker. <laughs> and I will take you along my day with me. We don't have too much going on, but um, we do have some fun things happening later on. So I'm gonna finish up my coffee here and then I will check in with you guys when I get home. I am back home after taking some much needed relaxation time by the water, sitting out in the sun. It was really nice, but I just got in a package from Nordstrom. I know. If you are like on Instagram and stuff, everyone's been talking about the Nordstrom anniversary sale. <clears throat> I saw somebody share this bottle on their Instagram. So I waited until like the general public had access to the Nordstrom sale to order this. And I am not one for like buying like name brand bottles and water bottles and stuff like that. Like I have a hydro jug and I love that but I saw this hydro flask and I could only find it on Nordstrom. I got it for like, what did I pay? How much did I pay for this? Okay, it doesn't say. I think I paid like $40 for it, um, which for a good water bottle, that's fine with me, but it looked so beautiful in this girl's Instagram story, so let me show you. Oh, it's just as beautiful in person. It came with like this little rubber sleeve at the bottom and then it has a straw, which I cannot drink drinks without a straw. I have to have a straw. Um, so it comes with like the little flip top straw, this little hook so you can like carry it around easily. Like you can hold your keys with this. Um, has the straw connected inside and it's one of those like it keeps your drinks cold for god I don't even know how long but um dishwasher safe yeah I never had a hydro flask before but when I saw this color I was like this is so cute and neutral like this is so neutral goes with my home decor you know so 
So I had to order this. Oh, I'm sorry. It was $41.90 and it's in the color sandalwood. I'll show you guys the little tag if you want to screenshot it. I will link it down below the Nordstrom one, but I'm obsessed with this. She's really cute. I feel like she's really neutral. Like I could take her out antiquing with me, you know? So today's agenda. Let me just like tell you, let's just do some like general updates. So on Saturday, so Nick is going away this weekend to the Poconos. Um, every year him and his family go to Pocono Raceway. They tow a trailer up there. They stay the weekend in the infield, like the middle of the raceway. And it's like a whole weekend thing with concerts and stuff. I used to go, um, I went for like four years straight, but now that we have kids, like our dogs and our cats, um, usually if we go away, his brother will watch our animals, but his brother goes with him to uh, the Poconos. So mom is staying home with the kids. Mom is staying home with the kids, right? Yeah. There's crap everywhere because our AC unit flooded under into our pantry in the storage area under our steps. So there's like a bunch of pantry stuff everywhere. We are getting our air conditioning and our heater replaced. It is long overdue. It's never been replaced in this house. So we have the joy of replacing that. So that's going to be lovely we love doing that um so that's coming soon like hopefully within the next couple of weeks here because our air conditioning is leaking everywhere it's fantastic so we've been running a fan on it almost constantly just to keep it semi-dry under there um what else so oh i meant to say because nick is going away for the weekend. I am going to go on my antiquing extravaganza with my good friend Dominique. We are going to go to PA. I'm in Jersey, so we are also going to go to PA. And it's like this little town right outside of New Jersey. There's a bridge that connects both of these towns and there is a bunch of antique stores there. So I am very excited. I'll be taking you guys along. I'll do like just some clips here and there, but I really want to be like in the moment and looking because if you don't know, like the East Coast and Pennsylvania is like the antique hotspot. That is where all of the treasures are. And I have never like fully gone antiquing there before. So I am so excited. Me and my friend Dominique, um, she's my soon to be sister-in-law. She is my husband's brother's fiance. So we love antiquing. We love going thrifting together. She is like one of my favorite people to shop with. So we are going on Saturday. We're so excited. And then this, um, this evening, um, I'm going to meet Nick at work and then we are going to drive up like an hour away and pick up bedroom furniture which I am so excited about. We have a mismatched set of hand-me-down furniture in our bedroom. We have a hand-me-down awful looking headboard. It's like, it's dreadful. Uh, we have two antique dressers that don't match and I have been eyeing up this set from Ashley Furniture for the longest time, but it's like almost $5,000. And um, once our AC broke, <laughs> The bedroom furniture kind of just went to the wayside. We were actually about to buy bedroom furniture and then our air conditioning broke. So don't you love that? So I'm glad it happened the way it did. Everything happens for a reason, y'all, because if I had not waited, I would have spent thousands of dollars on bedroom furniture and I found the exact set, the two dressers on Facebook Marketplace $4,000. Mind you, the longest dresser is, um, I want to say $1,400 on Ashley Furniture. So we're getting both for less than the price of one, which I am thrilled about. It is such a beautiful set. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go get it. Um, 
We actually found the matching bed frame as well, but then the guy like said, oh, like we're not gonna sell it anymore. I'm like, you just didn't wanna hold it for me, sir, because I couldn't go until today, which is Thursday. So whatever, we'll end up buying the bed frame eventually, or maybe we'll find it on Facebook Marketplace. So we're going to get that tonight and I'll take you guys along with us for that. Um, one of Nick's best friends is coming because it's on a second floor condo and I don't think Big Mama Muscles can uh, can carry that down the stairs with Nicky Poo. So that is the plan for tonight. Basically today I want to clean up the house. Luckily Nick did the dishes last night so I didn't wake up like too overstimulated. Clearly I was overstimulated and overwhelmed this morning though because I had to just like chill by the water for a few minutes. I've just been like, I don't know. I don't know. You just like get caught up in the mundane of life, I feel like. I'm just, um, I don't know. And we've just had some like internal struggles going on that I don't really want to talk about on here. Um, so yeah, maybe one day we'll chat about it, but yeah, there's just been some stuff going on that doesn't appear on YouTube because YouTube is fun and home decor and look at all my neutral treasures and I went antiquing today. So yeah, we've, uh, we've always got something going on in the background, but we're going to pull through. We're going to stay positive and yeah. So I'm going to clean up this house a little bit. I think I might take down some of my July 4th decor as well. I have to film a separate video with some treasures that I found a couple weeks ago. That'll be uploaded soon. Yeah, just a couple random things to share with you guys. Um, yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. Does anyone else have a room in their house? For most people, it's probably their kitchen like me, but if your kitchen is a mess, my life is in shambles. Like I cannot function in my life with a kitchen like this. Like what is even happening in here? These are really nice though. Nikki boy brought me flowers, which really made my day. I came home from work a couple days ago and I didn't even notice these on the island. He was like, look. And I'm like, what? Like, what am I looking at? He's like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, you bought me flowers. I am not a flowers type of girl because they just die in a couple of days, but the gesture was so nice. Love them. So yes, if my kitchen is not clean, I legit feel so overwhelmed. And honestly, I need to get better at just like finding a routine and a space that everything belongs in because I don't know how this keeps happening. How does this happen? I was just off literally two days ago. And I feel like every day that I'm off, I clean, but then I'm off again and the house looks like this again. I don't, I really, I just don't know what, what happens here. And it's just Nick and I, like what the heck am I gonna do when I pop out little ones? Does anyone else feel this way? I can't. All right, let's get to cleaning this, this fiasco. Just a couple 
random finds to share with you. I already shared these in my Hobby Lobby haul, but I'm gonna cut the tags off and put them in the drawer that I use like to store my hot pads and stuff. So I'm gonna put these away. And then I would assume, it's been a little while since these were marked down. I think I went to Walmart about a week ago and almost all of their hot pads and dish towels were on major clearance. So I got these really nice hot pads. They're Better Homes and Gardens and they have like, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like sticky almost to help grip your pan. Um, but these are really nice. I think I paid $2 for these on clearance. Um, and speaking of, I'm going to get rid of my old set right now. These, I think that we've had them literally since we moved in. I want to say these were old Better Homes and Gardens or old Walmart. Oh, they're old mainstays. Like the tags are... <laughs> falling off of them. We definitely got good use out of these. As you can tell, they've been washed quite a few times, but um, these are like covered in crap. And I finally replaced them. So these are gonna go in the trash. Don't need them. We'll put away our nice new ones. And while I'm in this drawer, let me show you these. So Nick's grandmother, we call her me mom, me mom is so talented with like knitting, crocheting. I don't even know what this is. She'll probably crucify me for not knowing what this is, but she made these gorgeous little knit pot holders for me. These are so beautiful. I would like hang them up. I just don't have a space right now, but she made me four of them. We've got a, a white, a grayish, a dark gray and a black. The black one she ran out of yarn and didn't have um, enough to make a little thread. But these are so beautiful. I'm obsessed with them and she is just so talented. I just had to show you them. They are beautiful and I've just been keeping them in my drawer and when we take something off of the stove it's nice to have a little something to put it on like um, putting it on the island or whatever, we can set these down. I love them. They're so beautiful. She's so talented. <laughs> and see, this is why I like to like go through different things. Let me know. This is like a very chatty video, by the way, sorry. Um, let me know if you guys would like to see an organizing video because I have a garage one coming out very shortly. I'm, I just have to do the voiceover on the video, but I'm doing, I did our garage and um, I plan on doing pantry next. I wanna do these cabinets, my spice cabinet and my um, like medicine cabinet. So that's next. I've just been on an organizing frenzy because I think it really helps my mental health. So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. I can like find really cool organizing things on Amazon. Just let me know if you'd be interested. But now that I'm going through that drawer, I have loads of hot pads and things that I can set hot pans on. So these were from the Dollar Tree a long time ago these can go to the Goodwill because I have plenty. We don't need 17 like hot pad things. So I'm gonna get some scissors.
having my island clean <laughs> feels so much better. I also just wanted to let you guys know that I have an Amazon favorites video coming soon and the garage video is coming. What else? Um, let me know if you'd like to see some like organizing throughout the house. We have a bedroom makeover coming soon because we're picking up that furniture today. So I am planning So I am planning on doing a total revamp of our bedroom. I can't wait for you to see the before because it's so not my style. It's not decorated. It's just been neglected. So we'll be doing like a transformation in there. Um, what else is coming? I don't, I don't even know. I'm not going to start decorating or doing fall type of videos until September. Um, so August will still be like basic, normal decor type of stuff. But yeah, a couple different things coming. Let's see what the rest of the day has in store for us. Okay, it is hours later after I cleaned my kitchen. I hung out for a little bit and then um, I decided, you know what, I have so many returns in my car. I had returns for Target and returns for Old Navy and we're using my SUV to go antiquing on Saturday. So I was like, I need to get this crap out of my car. So I went and did some returns. I got like $150 back at Old Navy. I had bought like regulars and talls of a bunch of my jeans because I'm 5'7", so I struggle with jeans a lot. But you guys, I am going to show you these jeans that I got at American Eagle today and they are so comfortable. I was going to film like going to American Eagle and um, doing my Target returns and stuff like that, but I just wanted to get in and get out. So the only thing I got from Target was two things of this because you guys tell me if I'm the only one if I make coffee at home it is terrible I don't enjoy it and I feel like on my days off I always have to go out and get coffee but I don't want to do that so this usually saves me from going out like tomorrow I'm off and it's Friday and I don't want to go anywhere like I like my days off I just like do everything in one day so that the next day I can just chill so that's why I got some um, cold iced coffee. That way I can stay home tomorrow. And then from American Eagle, let me show you the jeans first. These are so comfortable and I love just the one hole in the knee. Um, I sized up just so they would be like nice and loose and comfortable. I got a size six in these. They're Strigid Mom Jean. And I will link these if you guys are interested. They were $50, but I had a 20% um, off birthday coupon, so I used that. So I got those. I got a pair of shorts. I also got these in a size six. Just like a cute pair of high rise shorts, but they cover the bum real nice and they're nice and stretchy. This was way too expensive, but I had the 20% off and I love stuff like this. This I will probably wear over 50 times. It buttons up, has a hood, it's ribbed. I think it is so cute. So I got that and then I got a pair of socks. Maybe these will cheer me up a little bit. Just kidding. But I got these socks, they were $12.95, and then I had my coupon. But these with Birkenstocks, like when you're chilling out on the patio at night, these are so cute, I love them. So that's everything I got from American Eagle. And then, I, oh, I forgot I got these at Target. I am just like loving the long, short look. Like, I'm 27, I am like, 
hating clothes right now. Like I hate everything in stores. I was at the mall and I walked in Hollister and literally looked around and walked out within literally 14 seconds. Like the shirts that are out right now, I just, I can't. You might as well just like, okay, first of all, what kind of magical bras are these girls wearing? Because I have to wear a bra with tops, but their bra straps don't show. So like, what? I'm just confused. I'm just confused. So I am just not into like short shorts anymore. And like, not that I ever really was, but I saw these at Target. I didn't try them on, but I thought they were cute. They're high rise Bermuda shorts. <laughs> Let me just tell you, sixth grade me in plaid Bermuda shorts would be arriving right now um but I figure they would look really cute if you like wear a bodysuit which I don't really own bodysuits because I'm I have such a long torso but I think that they would be cute with like a tucked in tank we'll see and then I got a little um se gray nail polish and then I got some pretzel dogs and that's all I got today I did pretty good. I returned like over $200 worth of stuff earlier. So that was fun. And I have T minus 21 minutes. So I have to leave and go meet Nick at work, hop in his truck just cause it's like on the way there. He's not gonna come back home and then go right past work again. Cause we literally passed this job. So I'm gonna drive there in like 20 minutes. I have to leave and um, then we're gonna head and go get our dressers. So I'm very excited. How much do you guys love me? <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show you guys a close up of the dressers. So we've got this longer one absolutely beautiful it's in like perfect condition it came with this mirror although i don't think i'm going to um put the mirror on it because we're gonna put our tv upstairs above it but it's this like really pretty like worn wood look and like it came like this like it it even shows it online like it has like like that rustic look. So even if you do get some dings and dents, it kind of will blend right in. So we've got the longer one. And then this is the tall one. Looks like this probably happened um, on our way home. We just fill that in with a little bit of stain, honestly. But this is the tall one. They are so beautiful. I'm gonna add the dressers on the screen here from Ashley Furniture so you can see the actual dressers online and the price of them. I cannot believe how affordable I got these for on Facebook Marketplace. The woman was moving to Ohio and she needed to get rid of them. So yeah, I'll show you another little glimpse at this one. I'm just so excited about them. They are gorgeous. I've been looking at these for months now so I'm very happy with them and a little bedroom makeover video will be coming soon it'll be in the works probably for a couple months because I have a lot I want to do in there so I'll be taking you along and showing you this we'll be getting the matching bed frame that goes with this on Ashley so I'm very excited